So yeah, secrets out, we're engaged. Jared actually vlogged the entire process and made me content, which is honestly the best engagement gift of all. But I thought that not only would I edit his clips together, I would actually also insert my point of view throughout the process, which by the way, I haven't seen these videos yet. So actually as I'm editing, I'm gonna be filming and inserting my thoughts literally as I go. All right, proposal video. The current plan is to create a physical walk down memory lane. This is what the apartment looks like. Yeah, I used all my planning juice for, for this proposal. I forgot to do anything on your birthday. What? So sorry about that, but you took it like a champ. But I did write a card. Okay, for the record, he entirely forgot my birthday and he wrote the card because he forgot. I forgot to say, I also don't really know what to wear. I have a gray sweater, I have two black polos, and I was trying this on for you yesterday. <laughs> I was like, yo, we're going to a nice dinner in Vancouver, so what should I wear? One of them you said I look kind of douchey. I don't know if that's good or not. But you didn't, you didn't say which one looked nice. I should have just told you this is gonna be for your fucking proposal. Like, take, take this seriously. I really like the gray sweater. It also looks kind of basic as well. But it's, I don't want to go all black, I think that's kind of, but black with the white and red might look nice too. <sighs> or I was going to think of wearing my Lulu's, but really going to wear Lulu's to propose? Are you going to wear joggers to propose? Maybe, maybe they'll look pretty good. Okay, so he literally goes on for another like three minutes on what to wear. But leading up to the proposal, did I know it was coming? Yes and no. There were so many instances where I thought maybe he was planning something, but I've also been wrong like so many times. We went to Asia for two months and every night I was like, oh, maybe today's the day. And it was never the day. But anyways, let's fast forward to the day of the proposal. Whole day suspicious. I knew it was happening. Justin and I needed to go take photos that day. So I was just getting ready in the washroom and Jared and Jess were just like chatting it up in the living room. Like these guys never have anything to talk about. And then I decided to go out there. And as soon as I walk out there, silence. Like they just stopped talking. But yeah, after all that, Jess and I finally head out, so. All right, so today is the day. They just left to go take pictures and then they're also gonna pick up donuts. So that gives me about an hour and a half to set everything up. And yeah, let me go get the flowers right now. They're massive. These are like, I think 36 roses. They look even nicer because they have a little bit of water on them. So it looks even more fresh. So right now, this is what the place looks like. So I gotta clear everything off these tables. All right, so here are all the supplies that uh, Jess got me. I was too scared to buy it myself. I just realized I just dumped all the photos out on the ground as well. There's some of them. Can't see any of them, but too bad. <sighs> That's one. Yo, it's been so hard planning this. And like with all the funny things that happened, like telling my family, telling her family, having it almost being leaked. I, I would share these funny stories with her and it's been so hard not not telling her. So it's gonna be nice to finally get this over with. To get it done, beautiful moment, not get it over with. It, it's a beautiful moment. Yeah, kind of get it over with. And uh, so we can talk about it because it's funny. I don't know if this will make it into the actual video, but. Holy fuck, everyone asking her when, if she, when, she's, when she's gonna be proposed to, like, that does not help me. Like, she doesn't know. I don't fucking know. All right, last one. This is really hard. It's already 2.30. <sighs> Done. So we have fake rose petals and real rose petals. All right, so we have real rose petals and fake rose petals. Here go, here it goes. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Here we go again. This looks legit. All right, time for the white rose petals. All right, that's enough. So watching him actually put together the proposal is so cute because we've been dating a really long time and so we actually went to prom together in high school and he literally redid the prom proposal. All right, so the decoration is pretty much done. Balloons, the Polaroids for the memory lane, underneath the paper with a little bit of some words that I want to say, and the ring. It's right there. We're gonna try to do a 
sick transition like this. Okay, so at this point we finished taking our photos and I had my phone on this like mini tripod that was time-lapsing the whole session and just had her phone like near my phone. So we're done, I'm taking my phone off the tripod and all of a sudden Jess's phone lights up, perfect timing, and I see Jer has messaged Jess. And then poor Jess was panicking to try and cover it up. So we make it back to our place and Jer has to come down and get us because he has the key fob. So he comes down and we're all heading up together. Jess was supposed to slip in through the door first and then catch my reaction. So then all of a sudden this guy awkwardly tries to like throw the keys at Jess. And then I started yelling at him because I'm like, how could you throw the keys at her and not help her? Aren't you taking the donuts from her? Like you should be helping her. You are gonna help her? You're gonna put the key in there? <laughs> So what ends up happening is Jared gives me the key. I think just out of reflex because I'm always the one to open the door. So he just gives me the key and then behind me I hear these angry whispers and she's like, I should give her the key, what are you supposed to do? I don't know, I don't want to give her the key. So I'm like awkwardly opening the door and then that leads us to the proposal. <laughs> Thank you. You put them down. Okay. Yeah, okay, I turned down. Too emotional. <laughs> Alright, so this is a physical memory lane when we first met till now. So that's a piece of popcorn. A piece of popcorn to signify Ew. the popcorn snack where I got your locker combo. I'm putting some popcorn with a note to ask you to be my girlfriend. You remember? Was that, is that how it happened? I did that for you. You did that for me? I did that for you. Okay, I think everything else is accurate though. My contact's coming out. <laughs> Wait, I can't see. And yeah, that's pretty much the walk down memory lane. Do you grab it? I'm going on my finger. Yeah. Oh, it fits. It fits really good. It fits really nice. Look at these flowers. This is... <laughs> you've never bought me anything like this. I mean, have. No, like this. This is huge. Yeah, I mean, it's expensive, bro. Can't get this every time. I know. So yeah, that's the story from all perspectives and um, all those we skipped a little bit obviously to keep some privacy for a proposal. Um, that's the video. I think the most common questions that people ask, well one of them is, did you know it was coming? And yeah, we actually made this ring together um, a year back. And I love this ring, like when I saw it, I got that like heart pulling feeling that like told me like, oh my God, this is my ring. And I didn't know because although we made it and I saw all the cats, I didn't feel that until I saw the actual ring and it's just, it's perfect. But yeah, we made it a year back. So it was really just a matter of when. So the second most common question is, did you cry? And obviously I cried. But yeah, I've been with Jer for over 10 years and I've known for a long time that we are each other's person. And I think most People do imagine seeing themselves getting married and moving forward in the relationship with someone. So I've pictured this moment for a long time. And so yeah, of course I cried. Anyways, that is all for this video, really. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to talk about anything, feel free to leave a comment. I'm an open book. I would love to chat more. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. You're a real one. And if you like videos like this and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.